Lock. And we're here this morning with our political analyst, David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. David, you're a familiar face. We want to thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much. Well, let's talk about the race that we were just uh, mentioning there, the uh, Lackawanna County DA. Big lead up to that race. And what was your impression of exactly how that, that turned well, out? Well, it's historic. I mean, it is really historic because this is the first Democratic district attorney in Lackawanna County since 1969. The Mets won the World Series that year, Nixon was president, and we landed on the moon. So that is really incredible that re the, the Republicans have had the stranglehold on this office since then. Trivia question, the last Lackawanna County Dem uh, Democratic DA was Joseph Semino. So put that in the back of your mind, you know? So yeah, this was incredible. Um, uh, Tallarico uh, said, um, at least last night that he wasn't going to concede. Um, he lost in the primary. Um, uh, I mean, he lost in the general by 2,000 votes, and he won in the primary by 2,000 votes, and he says he's not going to concede because he thinks votes are going to come in. I don't know where he thinks the votes are going to come in, because in 2015, when Stephanie Salavantis became DA, um, you know, she had a 200-vote margin, so I don't know where that's going to come from, but it was historic. All right, so let's talk about the future now. What issues will the DA face in the next four years? Well, opiate abuse and also anything that's thrown at him. Look at what happened yesterday uh, in Monroe County. That's a case that a DA is going to have to prosecute. Same thing with the thing that happened in Blooming Grove with the state troopers a couple of years ago. DAs have to be equipped to handle just about anything that comes. And it's something that I think is interesting. Where do you think the Shane Scanlon voters went? Did they go right over to Tallarico after the primary, or did they go over to the anti-Tallarico option? Boy, there's a good possibility. I believe uh, the buzz that I heard in Lackawanna County was that a lot of the people who were going to hardcore Shane Scandal supporters actually went over to Mark Powell. Interesting. Yeah, but they both ran very aggressive campaigns. All right. Well, yeah. we want to thank you so much for being here. We'll check in with you in a couple more minutes. Thank you.